Hi, this is Naomi with the Naomi Butler Show. Today I'm gonna kinda show you how I varnish. I've got my, I've got a futon extra bed that has the thick plastic on it. And it actually goes out a distance from all sides. And then I have some cardboard. These are just part of those I think TV boxes from U-Haul that fold, and I have one here, one there, and then underneath, I have just two containers on this end. They're set in a little bit from the edge because when I varnish, I'm gonna go in a little bit. <coughs> and so those hold up both ends so they're raised. And now, <coughs> I'm gonna show you my mix. What I do is I mix matte and gloss to make kind of a satin finish. And I have two different mixes. I have one that <clears throat> I'll mix and make sure it works. And then I have another set that when it is the top coat, because I put two coats on, the top coat is the same satiny, if you will, finish, the same finish. And that way, if I'm doing two big paintings like this one, I've got the same finish on both paintings. So I've got two different mixes. And I, when I mix matte and gloss, <clears throat> I tend to do two matte to one gloss. And that way it's not so glossy. Now, what I'm gonna do is try to do this one-handed while I hold the phone and do the video. I will take a section and make sure I've got enough varnish. I have an old, you can see I even put for liquid varnish only, it's an old brush. And every time I use it, I clean it so it's clean all the way down to the ferrule. But before I use it, I'll dip it in water, mash it a little bit so it softens it up, and then I'll kind of mash it on some paper towels. <coughs> that way it's a little, wet and a little bit more pliable, if you will. And so now, because it's abstract, I could go any direction. If it's a different kind of painting, I may be more picky about what direction I take the varnish. But right now, I'm just wanting to cover all areas. <clears throat> On this first coat, this painting in certain areas has some thicker paint. This corner does not. It's more of a even layer, I guess. So you can see the shiny part of the varnish right now. <clears throat> and so I'm kind of taking this one section and I can even look at it like this and make sure I've covered, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> covered every section. Sometimes I have this issue because of the radiation the first time. And then I'm taking it along the sides. I'm going to move my varnish and my bucket down <clears throat> so I can show you. You see here where it's shiny and that's not. This is kind of where I left off with the shiny varnish. So I kind of take it along the sides make sure I've covered all the way there. And I go underneath <clears throat> to make sure I take that varnish all the way around. And then I will do this. <clears throat> and then I'll take a neck, another section. <clears throat> so sorry. And make sure I've covered every bit of it. I hope that helps. And also when I'm through, <coughs> I will rinse it here as much as I can and then dab it on the paper towel <coughs> before I go really wash that brush. And that way I'm not putting as much varnish down the sink. Hope that helps. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.